Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue exploring the Android operating system and OpenCV and how we can use both to create uh, really uh, cool applications. Uh, this is uh, Eclipse. This is uh, the same uh, workspace that we used in the last uh, uh, two, three tutorials. And as you can see, this is, this is the area where you can run applications, uh, uh, install applications onto your phone. And we did that with the examples, okay? And all you need to do is run as, as you remember, an Android application. It will install on your on your device. That's one way, okay? Another way, uh, other things that you can do, you can also, my phone, as you can see, my phone is not being read right now because it's not connected, but I'm going to connect it now. And as I connect it, as you can see, it's telling me offline because it has you have to accept the 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 computer's RSA key fingerprint. So once you hit it OK, then it picks it up and it knows before you do that, it won't, it won't, uh, it won't do anything, okay? And uh, from here, as you can see, you can uh, poach a file and pull a file. You can pick a, a, um, a directory, and let's say that you want a file from that directory um, on your phone, and you want that file onto your computer. All you need to do is pick the directory that you want and go into this area right here and you can say pull a file from the device and it will pull it wherever whatever di directory on your desktop that you want it uh, to be saved okay same thing you can do the um, the other uh, operation you can instead of pulling you can push so you can go here and you can once you you choose that it's you go you it's going to send you to a directory uh and then you pull uh you pick the file that you want to send to your device and you can uh, send uh directories you can you have to I always zip them first I think you have to zip them first but I'm not sure I always zip them to to compress it and uh, and and I'll show you how to do these operations uh, but on from the terminal uh, from the command line okay so Right now, I'm going to close Eclipse, and we're going to do it uh, from the command line, okay? And I'm going to disconnect my phone also, and start all over again. Clear this, and let's run ADV devices, and ADB is, uh, as you can see, there's nothing attached. ADB is the the, um, the Android debug bridge, um, and it, it does exactly what it is. It's a bridge between your device and uh, and your desktop, whatever you're working in. And uh, I'm gonna show you some some useful commands that will make your life a lot easier. So if I run this, I just connected my phone, so and as you can see is uh, let me ADV ADV devices because it's telling me that it's offline and it's telling me offline so let's hit use debugging and do it again and let's kill this server. ADV kill so server. And ADV start server. And ADV try again. And it's still offline. Okay, um, let's run it. So, I'm running it as, as root. ADB devices. And kill ADB kill server. 
ADV start server. And now it's picking it up. Okay. Um, exit ADV devices. Let's try again. And there it is. Okay. Um, you there's ways. Sometimes you have to do that. Uh, the ADV um, you have to. I mean, uh, <laughs> there are many ways to to do accomplish the same thing. Okay. So let's clear this. And now, if you don't, if you're not sure about something on, on ADB, all you need to do is ADB help, and it will give you all the commands that you need to know. Okay. Uh, this these are the same commands that we did on Eclipse: ADB push, ADB pull, and for example, um, let's um, let's do ADB shell. And then let's use this one, Logcat. Uh, this one I show you in uh, Eclipse a couple tutorials ago. And I'm going to pipe it into top because I don't want the whole thing. And ADV shell Logcat. And pipe it. I only want the tab commands because there's so many. And as you can see, it gives me a login of all the applications that are running on my phone, continuously running. Okay. And uh, that's the logcat command oh, open from a shell on your, on, um, on your device, on ADB. Now let's close that. So let's control C, LS. And it also gives you the a list of everything inside your 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 device. So now let's exit the shell and let's get back and let's get back in into other commands. Another command that you can use, as you can see here, let's find another one. Let's let's create a file. Let's use these are the ones that are more you will be using the most more likely. So let's do uh, ADB. Well, first let's create a directory. Let's create um, um, make dear apps. Let's call it stem apks. Stem apks because I think I already have a file called uh, apps. Okay, and now we're going to take that. Uh, see these stem APKs Unless, and inside that folder we're going to create uh, the yeah, home just stem APKs so what we're going to do we're going to create another folder called make dear sample okay and that's the one that we created and now inside that sample directory we're going to go inside of it and in there as you can see it's empty right now but we're going to create files Okay, make believe files or dummy files that we can uh, play with. Uh, let's do a C and hello Java, hello Python, of course, a README file. And as you can see, it created all of these. Okay, there's nothing in them, but it created the uh, the, uh, the files inside that sample directory and now what we're going to do we're going to take the directory and get it ready to to send it to our device so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to zip it okay so to zip it we're going to compress it into a um, compress file so zip it with zip r and then name of this zip and what directory you're zipping okay and as you can see it created this zip okay now what I'm going to do I'm gonna use this command I'm gonna take this zip right here and send it into the device so I'm gonna go adb 
approach sample zip and I'm going to send it into the SD card okay and hit enter and I think it was sent it looks like it was sent okay now I'm going to remove both of the files so you know that the, F the what we're supposed to do it actually happened so let's do sample let's get rid of that and let's get rid of sample zip okay and as you can see now it's empty the directory is empty and now instead of adb push we're gonna say adb pull we're going to pull the zip from the sd card of the my phone and the name of the file which is the sample zip and i'm going to just a dot meaning dump it right here in this same directory okay so hit enter and you can see it's back again now we unzip it unzip to make sure that the compression worked and that everything came back the way it was supposed to and it's creating extracting them back again and as you can see if we go inside the there they are again and this is a very nice way of, of, of uh, sending things from the command line and uh, you can send as many as you can um, and that's that's a that's a nice way another um, uh, cool thing about the working with ADB let's clear this uh, let's now let's uh, now let's uh, take uh, one of these commands here which one can we use actually I have some here let's do a let's do something with a video with a picture because this is uh, more likely what you will be doing so let's do that let's do ADV and send it into a okay ADV shell screen record okay what where, where I'm going to do is create a video I'm going to open my phone and uh, and open the camera option so I'm going to record a video from my my famous nutcracker here that I that I have next to me here and I'm gonna ADB shell is gonna record whatever is on the screen and it's gonna make a video and let's see if it works okay so I'm gonna do it and hit enter and as you can see it's doing something it doesn't tell me anything because I, I should have said something verbose or something but I, I hope that it's doing something I'm gonna rotate the camera so and this is what we're writing right now okay so you can see this is what we're doing right now on the phone okay and I think that's enough and let's control C to stop it okay ls and now this is the big test we're going to try to pull what we just created so we're going to pull from the SD card and the video mp4 that we just created and let's hope it, help, it, it works okay and bring it to this directory right here and something is going on ls and it looks like something came back now let's try to play it with VLC video mp4 and that's the one that's the video that we just created okay and it is the big test is I'm going to uh, rotate it like we did and I'm gonna show you the screen that we show you and it's it's completely backwards <laughs> it's backwards but it's, you can still see 
okay but this is the end of the tutorial uh, this is uh, another one of the cool things that you can do with uh, ADB and, and from the command line and you don't need Eclipse I mean there's tons of stuff that you can do uh, without Eclipse okay but uh, have a great day if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thanks for watching